Hello everybody and welcome back to the WordPress community interview series. Uh, with me today is uh, Jamal Tashan. Uh, Jamal, I do appreciate you taking time out of your busy day and uh, uh, spending a few minutes uh, chatting with me. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, thanks for having me John. Well, I am an electronics engineer who spent his uh, 46 plus years in the corporate world on several companies and after all those years I decided to retire and I thought uh, photography is my passion. I start shooting photography and now I have three books on photography but I figured out that technology and internet was my real passion so I start doing some kind of uh, small web designs and more on the security side of internet because that was my life uh, security oh. and uh, after that well of course as everybody finds it I found WordPress and I got involved and um, as you know I live in Orange County California and I went to our local meetup at uh, Steve Zegit's office and here I am then I started <laughs> WordPressing as they say <laughs> uh -huh. great great and you were uh, one of the volunteers at the WordCamp Orange County, um, I'm sorry, you were one of the uh, volunteers at uh, WordCamp Orange County, and uh, you're also involved in that uh, uh, fantastic group of people at uh, WordPress TV. Yes, I know those fantastic people at the WordPress TV, TV are great to accept oh. me among themselves. <laughs> well, yes, I actually. Uh, I volunteered uh, as a traffic guard at uh, WordCamp Orange County 2015, and I was so successful, I guess, they asked me to be one of the organizers for audio video this year. Oh, so I was one of the organizers uh, under the leadership of Dave Bargowski. Yeah. We did a great uh, WordCamp here, but as you know, all WordCamps are very good, and if people cannot go there, you know where to watch them, WordPress TV. Yep, absolutely. Now, um, you're involved in the uh, global community to a certain extent. Uh, uh, I understand that you recently traveled to uh, Turkey. Uh, could you tell us uh, about that experience and the uh, WordPress community in Turkey? Well, as you know, WordPress is everywhere, and the WordPress community in Turkey is very active. They have uh, translated the latest version of WordPress into Turkish, so we have a Turkish version of WordPress, and uh, they are uh, they used to be very active, but because of this political si uh, situations in Turkey, meetings and gatherings are not that uh, easy to organize uh, because. Now, under this uh, semi-martial law kind of activism, you had to get permissions to get all together. So oh everybody is doing online meetings, but they are doing very well. They are helping the new developments. And uh, uh, we have a better percentage uh, in Turkey compared to the rest of the world on using WordPress. It's at the 40% level, wow. which, is, which is very good. Yeah. And uh, everybody is very happy what we are doing, we, we are capable of doing, and hopefully they will have a WordCamp in Turkey, and then we will have it on WordPress TV. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and I'm, I'm glad that uh, you were uh, able to visit uh, and also uh, arrive back home uh, safe and sound. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. And I understand, uh, I've, I've seen a couple of your videos on WordPress TV. Uh, you are a, an advocate uh, for designing uh, sites for seniors. Uh, could you explain a little bit about that, please? Well, thank you. Well, being one of them, seniors have uh, some needs, on, especially on the, the computers. Uh, we have a big uh, pile of information that we can share with the young people, with uh, our experiences and how the future is going, as well as our needs. I mean, our eyes get bad. We cannot see the smaller fonts. We cannot see, for example, red fonts on black backgrounds. They are all small things, but they make us 
uh, very hard uh, to get involved with what's going on the screen. Mm -hmm. So I had my own problem. So I said, well, is there anybody else getting this problem? And I figured out that lots of lots of them. And you know, the average age in the uh, world is increasing. And uh, seniors, baby boomers, and all the those groups are healthy, wealthy, and they, they want to use computers, talk to their grandkids, uh, write emails, read books online. And as you know, the newspapers are getting out of this uh, world now. Yep. Everybody reads it online. Yep. So I said, well, how can I contribute? You know, once you are in WordPress, you need to contribute back. So I said, well, let me give a speech. So I was lucky to be in, invited to four word camps to speak on designing for seniors. And uh, I did a great research. Also, I was lucky to live in Washington, D.C., close to the government. So as you know, government now has a mandate yep. to make the government sites to comply with the seniors and also Disability Act. Uh, yes. So that bring us a great, great uh, help. So I'm trying to teach our WordPress guys what to do for the seniors, and we are here for them if they need help, tests, we are ready to help them. Yeah, fantastic, and, and I do appreciate your efforts. Uh, uh, being a senior myself, uh, that uh, some of the issues that you discuss are becoming uh, issues for me. Um, and during, uh, well, it's been several months ago, I had sent you a uh, screenshot of a, uh, a Twitter feed uh, where um, somebody made a statement during WordCamp Europe uh, that they were getting feedback that our text size is getting too small in the plug-in repo. Uh, so that kind of said to me, not only uh, are uh, we needing to pay attention uh, and design websites for seniors, uh, to me it seemed like there are more seniors getting involved in WordPress. Uh, can you give us your thoughts on that? I, I fully agree. More and more seniors has to be involved in design if they cannot design themselves because the uh, system advances so fast, maybe we don't have that much time to learn the design procedures, but we can be involved in the procedure. I mean, designers can contact the seniors and ask their opinion, what can, for example, 10 or 12 points should not be used. It should be 14 to 16. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, sh uh, that was my first point, have a button that every user could adjust their font size. I mean, don't come with 16, 14, 12, 10. Let the user adjust it. Yeah. yeah. But you know, this responsive uh, teams, responsive design doesn't let you to adjust it automatically, it just in some cases. So that was one of my first things. In, in, in responsive teams, just put a button so that I can adjust my font. Even on a, a smaller uh, smartphone, I would like to use 14 fonts, 5 point fonts. So. Right. Right. That's 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 very good. That all seniors should be involved in a way, designing, developing somehow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Great, great. And and I've noticed myself at uh, word camps that uh, uh, there seems to be, um, well, in just my short, uh, my goodness, uh, six years of being uh, at word camps, uh, there seems to be uh, more seniors uh, volunteering. Uh, for word camps and helping out uh, uh, in whatever manner they can so um, glad to see that uh, now I really don't have any other questions uh, do you have anything that uh, you would like to add at this time well uh, from the seniors point I think we have a bit more time than the young kids they are uh, building their families their businesses their income so we, we have more time, so we should encourage seniors to uh, get involved in not only on WordPress, but their local communities, developing sites, teaching the kids, helping them, because I know everybody needs somebody to talk to, to explain, to share. 
and the internet web is uh, the thing that brings us together. So we we should we should share that. And talking about sharing, I want to talk about the WordPress TV too, where at the World Camp, World Meetings, and not only those, but people can uh, videotape and send uh, their procedures, how they write themes, plugins, or how they do the video editing so that uh, WordPress TV would be a source for them to go and learn. So maybe we should add some more senior targeted, uh, very uh, elementary beginner uh, WordPress uh, usage for the seniors in the WordPress TV. As, as you know, WordPress TV brings in almost every WordCamp that's happening around the world in many languages mm -hmm. so that we can, uh, if you are not there, you can see what's going on. And I would love to, well, I don't know that much Spanish, but when I see Spanish language WordCamps, I'm also learning more Spanish watching them because oh. you know the technology, you know the terms. Yeah, you yeah. just mix them up, and it helps on learning something else. Huh? Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, well, I do appreciate your time, and I'm glad that uh, you returned back safe and sound. Uh, like I said before, uh, you recently came back uh, from Washington, uh, uh, apparently yes. after a, a short stay. Uh, if you don't have anything else, that is all I have. Uh, so, um, you know, hopefully we'll get to meet uh, uh, one of these days at a word camp or someplace else. And it'd be uh, great to uh, be able to spend some time with you. Thank you so much, John. Thanks for having me, and I'm looking forward to meet you in person. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and thank you, and you have a good evening. You too. Thank you.